Hey, Sneak Lane's back today. Yeah, I guess we're, we're back with another pub. This one is Wary Racy 522. Yes, Racy is a bit different from standard Wary. It uses one of the latest kernels for its insides. So it's 3.0.7, so I think it was on red anyway. It uses a lot of newer Exorg libraries, or the latest even. So when you set up your um, video stuff for Wary, or Wary Races in, in this application here, it does it all for you. It's mainly automatic. Although, after installing it, I'll have a little bit of trouble getting to get my right screen resolution, but after a bit, it was easy, bleeding, peasy. So, yeah, super bleeding duper. Anyway, we'll get past that. As you can see, basic pup. I've actually installed a couple of things, including Skype, just to make sure it all works, and it does, so there's no problem now. If you're using a wired Ethernet connection, it connects immediately to the internet, so do not forget to set up your firewall. As usual, if you go to the top of the page, there is a setup icon, so if one of your things is not working, say your mouse and keyboard or something like that, <clears throat> there is also a workaround for the mouse and keyboard thing. When you boot from the live CD, it actually tells you if you've got problems, do this. I think you hit tab and do something else, and it will actually fixes it for you, basically. <gasps> Excuse me. Right, anyway, that's where you have stuff for setup. Right, let's get to the menu. Now remember, on PUP, you can use the menu down here, here right here, or you can right-click desktop. So that's what we're going to do. So you get the usual puppy stuff, usual puppy stuff. But you get some QT stuff in there, actually. Uh, what else is I going to show you? I've actually installed HTOP, so let's have a little look and see what's going down in the world of HTOP. As you can see, I'm only using 26 megabytes of RAM, and the CPU's not doing nothing, really. I'll be really honest with you, because this is quite a newer machine, it does run a lot better than putting ordinary wear in it. There's no stuttering. And that's what it was made for, really, at the end of the day, to put wear on a newer machine to make it even faster than it already was. So instead of just being a grand, it's a grand on acid now, if you know what I mean. Okay. We'll come out of there. And we'll go back here. Set up, I've shown you already. Anything else there you want to see, really? No. Ah, yes, there was. There's the quick setup first run settings. I'll show you that quickly. When you first get this one going, you get this as well. Same as you do in uh, 528, okay? But, you know, you can get set your keyboard and mouse and your locale and your time and your video. Video? 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 What am I on? And your video wizard. So basically, if new machine, you put the tick the box there and it will run you through the setting up the video. Hunky dory, all done, okay? Oh, here we go, dead mouse. If you tab key to enter this button and then press enter key, and then it sorts out your mouse. Apparently, okay? I can live with that. Okay, next on the system. Under utilities, nothing new there. I'll tell you what I haven't shown you for ages is snap to snapshot backup. If you want to back up your system in PUB, it's been available for quite a long while now, but I've, I don't think I've ever showed you, to be honest with you. So I'll go straight to the GUI. There we go. And basically, you can set up to back up whatever you want in your puppy thing. So you can get an external set, external hard drive, external USB key, anything you want to. You just select the, the stuff you want to back up, and off we go. So that's nice and easy, isn't it? Okay, what else we got? <clears throat> File system, usual. Graphics, I put Gimpy in. It's one of the latest Gimpies. So I'll open it up and have a look. There you go. Super bleeding duper. To see how fast that is. No, really. Fast. Right. I'm using a single core of this machine, so it's running at 2 gig, probably, well, it's probably not actually running at 2 gig, and 512 of RAM. Bloody hell, it's fast. Okay, what else we've got under graphics? Not a lot that you don't already know about, okay? The documents, we've got Abbey Word, okay, we'll open Abbey Word up. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? It's not the latest and the greatest, but it works. This is a bit we like, the working bit, so it's 286, superb. Okay, next we'll go down again. So I've put scribes on, so I've installed a few extra programs just to make sure they all work, because I, I have had trouble in the past with some things not working, but they seem to all be working fine. So if I click on scribes to see if scribes works. Oh, yes, it Oh, Python thing. Oh, Python error. It still works. Okay. I'll have to go and check that out in the old package manager a bit later. Didn't get that far before, if you know what I mean. I mostly opened it before, to be honest with you. Anyway, a bit of a drinkage. Hang on a second. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So anyway. Documents. You get Genie and Leafpad for your text editors. Don't forget that. Now, under business, Genie Merrick, of course. You also get your home bank finance planner and stuff like that. And four calculators. Right, personal. Bcrypt as standard. Diddy Wiki, personal wiki, 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 and all that. Jungle is massive. Internet. Right. Still keeping me going for your stuff there. Not too happy about that personally, but hey, what can you do? It's there if you want to use it. 
You also get puppy phone internet telephone. Now this is their own, it's called P phone, I think. I can't remember. I'm going to go into it on a different video on its own to make sure it all works hunky dory and show how it works. Because it's been in there quite a long time, but I think it's just been renamed, okay? Of course, I've put Skype in and transmission is there as well. And there's an SSH GUI for a secure remote login for certain sites and computers, okay? Multimedia, of course, you've got Asunder as standard and WF Convert, probably one of the best out there on the market. Oggle for DVD plan, it does work as a tune, it just plays a DVD, DVD, D, E, even. Okay. Right, I've also installed Tano online TV player again, and I'm still missing one dependency, so it won't bleed and work. It's a bit of a bummer, really. I would have fancied a bit of that personally. But hey, what can you do? Under fun, you just get Rubik's Cube and X Soldier Space War. X Soldier Space War. Should have a look. So look. Oh, it's there. Okay, okay, I can get that. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> that is basically is for Weary Racy, okay? Weary Racy. Racy. It's just hard to install in a minute. A quick look. We'll go to the puppy package, man. Before we finish, I just want to check something out while we're still doing the video, just to check things out, you know. It's a problem phone. Here we go. As you can see, these are the stuff I've in, actually installed already. I'm actually missing an XC dependency, so I'm going to go and check that out in a bit. But as you can see, you still get quite a bit in this centre here, or the puppy package manager, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there's also the XOR driver for a tablet pen. So if you've got a tablet, like one of those Wacom things, you can use that as well. Don't forget, you can use Dead Beef or Audacious if you so wish to do so. So yeah, all hunky dory. Now remember, there is no open shot here or anything like that. Okay, no blender. You may want, you may be able to fit it actually if you want to. I might try that a bit later. But it's not in the puppy, the puppy package manager. All right. Anyway, Weary is so bleeding super duper now. It's called Racy. This is Racy. It's super duper. Got to give it five, and I really sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye, z bye.